And Bree, I want to wish one of our News 5 viewers, Steve Shugart, a happy Aww. belated birthday. It was yesterday. He always sends us the most amazing sunrise and sunset photos from the Westcliff area with those views of the Sangres. Absolutely stunning. And this photo, really nice of some of the spring blooms in Colorado Springs and a great view of America's mountains sort of between some of the flowers there. That photo provided by Molly McKenna. And if you have any pictures, videos, or storm reports when the weather becomes news, we'd love to see them. Best way to do that is to send the weather team an email. It's weather at KOAA.com. All right, let's get you out the doors. We're about 10 minutes away from the top of the six o'clock hour below freezing in Woodland Park. Pretty close to it in Monument in Denver. 40s out into the Eastern Plains and I-25 corridor. 44 in Rye, 46 in Canyon City. We did see an early morning cold front bring a few sprinkles to the Pikes Peak region during the overnight hours as well as down into Pueblo County. But that front fizzling out. We did have a brief burst of gusty north winds as well when I was coming into work around 245 this morning. Now that wind is already shifting out of the east. And I think clouds that are left over from that front will clear out slowly over the next few hours, leaving us mostly clear by the lunch hour and then with some of that moisture left in the atmosphere today we will see clouds thicken up once again this afternoon but rain chances a little bit lower than what we've seen the past few afternoons most of us I think likely stay dry if we do get a shower we'll look for that out across the eastern plains so today probably a good day to get the car washed as we're not really threatening any big thunderstorms or rain showers nice at noon at 56 with increasing clouds at 3 and a temperature in the low 60s so big picture pattern is a slow moving area of low pressure that's been sending these waves of energy into Colorado over the past several days. Still going to send a few more our way, one more on Friday and a follow up system on Saturday that sort of skirts the area. So not a lot of rain, not a widespread thunderstorm chance, but we will see a slight increase on Friday to Saturday to around 20 to 30 percent. All right, your highs today down as much as 10 degrees across the eastern plains, about three to five degrees cooler for the springs. I'm going to call it a Goldilocks day because it's not too hot, not too cold, just about right. All right, 70 degrees on Friday, back down to the 60s on Saturday. And then as we make our way towards Sunday and early next week, the wind expected to become the big story as we could a transition to sort of a drier and windier weather pattern in the extended period. For Pueblo, a similar story, an isolated chance of a shower or storm Friday and Saturday. Not a huge chance though. Sunday we're dry with dry and windy conditions into early next week. For Canyon City, I think we're dry here through Friday. Could see an isolated thunderstorm or shower Saturday and then Sunday is dry with increasing wind. For Woodland Park, isolated showers and storms both Friday and Saturday. Rest of the seven day forecast is dry with increasing wind and highs in the 50s early next week.